Hey, the great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn will happen on Monday. It's the first time since 1623 that Jupiter and Saturn are going to be this close together. We have to go even further back to 1226 for the last time you could see the two planets that close together in the night sky. So this morning, meteorologist Grant Gilmore shows you what's happening in our solar system to support this rare event. All right, so the great Jupiter-Saturn conjunction. Let's bring on in the solar system here onto the table. Now the Earth, the third rock from the sun. Jupiter and Saturn are the fifth and sixth planet away from the sun. Now all planets orbit at different speeds. Earth takes 365 days to orbit around the sun. That equals one year. Now, look at this. You've got Jupiter takes 12 Earth years to orbit around the sun. Meanwhile, Saturn takes 29 Earth years to orbit around the sun, meaning they're not lining up all the time. In fact, it takes roughly every 20 years for them to align, but not all alignments are equal. And that's why this one is so special. It's going to be really close in the night sky. In fact, Jupiter and Saturn have been getting closer and closer over the last month, up to the point to where the conjunction occurs on December 21st. That's when they will be at their closest. Now it's not going to appear like a big bright star in the evening sky. You'll still be able to tell that they're slightly separated, but it still will be really cool. In fact, they're going to be separated by about the width of a dime. If you were to take that dime and hold it out at arm's length, so it will still look almost like a double planet. And just like the moon looks bigger as it gets onto the horizon, the planets will appear to look farther and farther apart as they get closer and closer to the horizon, which they'll drop below the horizon right around 930. But December 21st, the Jupiter-Saturn conjunction.